Hey, what's up, guys? Check this out. You guys know we've been following Comet 3i Atlas for several weeks now. It's just now starting to look like a comet. For the, for the most part, all along, it hasn't even looked like a comet until just a few days ago. Well, check this out. There's a new object that was just discovered. This one definitely looks like a comet, but it just came out of nowhere. Here's one of the very few images of this comet that, again, just entered the field of view from behind the sun. That's an image by Gerald Riemann out of Namibia. They're calling this Comet Swan 25b as it just received a name less than 12 hours ago. They don't even know the orbit path of this thing. It just literally came out of nowhere and it's pretty decent size. Article over here at spaceweather.com goes on to say a bright comet has emerged from behind the sun surprising astronomers. Introducing Comet Swan 25b. The comet is a magnitude 7.5 bright enough to be seen with backyard telescopes. This is our confirmation image taken just a couple of hours ago via the Space Flux Network. This comet is named after the SWAN camera on board the, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO. Amateur astronomer Vladimir Bezugli noticed the comet in his online images. SWAN is a special camera that maps hydrogen in the solar wind, which suggests this comet may be rich in the element. This September 12th photo from Michael Michael Matazzo out of South Australia highlights the comet's two-degree ion tail. This one has a very long tail, unlike 3i Atlas, the interstellar traveler that's traveled from another star system really has no visible tail all the way up to this point. We've been following this thing for weeks. Look at how long that tail is. That is absolutely massive. And again, this thing just appeared out of nowhere. Article goes on to say it is probably in outburst post-perihelion mode. A similar situation occurred with comet C2004H6. The comet's orbit is still being determined. Initial astronomy suggests it has already passed through perihelion. That's its closest approach to the sun. Next, it might make a close approach to the Earth in October. The comet's future visibility remains unknown. It might be on the verge of falling apart or poised for a good show as it approaches our planet. Observations in the days ahead will tell us more about its prospects. For now, the coordinates can be found over here at the, at the Minor Planet Center. And right here is the comet Swan 25b. This was just discovered on 9-12 a few hours ago. This is brand new information about a, another mysterious comet that's entered the solar system. This one too essentially of unknown origins. Visible with a backyard telescope. That's how big and bright this thing is and it could get bigger. Guys, we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm watch. Geomagnetic storms are possible on the 14th. That would be tomorrow within the next 24 hours. Earth's magnetic field could receive a one-two punch from the sun. Number one, a glancing blow from a faint sea me. Number two, a stream of solar wind flowing from the, the big butterfly. We've been talking about this large coronal hole that's facing the Earth that is indeed shaped like a butterfly. And we talked about the possibility of this thing stirring up a geomagnetic storm on the Earth. And that definitely is in the works right now as I do this video. We could see a, a G1, possibly a G2 geomagnetic storm inside the next 24 hours. Once again, a new comet has entered the inner solar system, Swan 25B sneaks out from behind the sun, surprising astronomers. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.